welcome to this week's video. Uh, this week, come up on the corn tops again, just local, um, just going for a stroll, uh, just checking out some different wooded areas and uh, just enjoying the woodland photography at the moment. Uh, the With the green, green covering, um, we're not getting many misty mornings, unfortunately, but uh, the light is quite nice uh, coming through on certain places. Uh, so, yeah, just going to get out, have a stroll, enjoy the countryside and see what we can see. So, a stroll on. Okay, I love being out in the countryside and walking around. And everybody is welcome to come out and walk wherever they want within reason, obviously, without trespassing. It's one thing that really annoys me. Just look at this. Cans, beer cans, wrappers. Why can't people just take their freaking rubbish home with them? I'm not picking it up now because I'm, I'm heading in the other direction. But when I come back through later, I shall collect that and take it home and put it where it's meant to be, in the bin. It just winds me up. Okay, so I've just, uh, I have just stopped and taken a, a quick shot using this uh, this tree here, and then there's another tree, and th there's three trees sort of stepping away. Um, all of them, the bases of them, covered in moss. I'm just picking up on this soft lighting that's coming in. It's quite overcast today, but there is a bit of soft light just filtering through the the tree canopy. So, um, so yeah, I've um, just taken it. Uh, I'll do a bit of editing on it and then if it's any good, I'll put it up. Okay, woodland photography can be a bit daunting at times, uh, particularly if you're fairly new to photography. Um, it, it is a fairly difficult form of landscape photography, I would guess. Um, although I would say it's probably the most relaxing and rewarding uh, when things come together and you, you get some nice shots. Um, the only way I've said many a time the only way you're going to do that is to get out and walk around and um, just let your eyes seek seek around um, it's all about light shapes um, just the general surroundings um, again <laughs> like we always say trying to make sense out of chaos so um, yeah, just let your eyes search around um, and pick up on anything that catches your eye, uh, any shapes, any light, anything of those forms that just looks a little bit out the ordinary from from its surroundings, and therefore it will stand out from its surroundings. So let's keep walking, see if we can find an example. Just an example, I'm going to pan round now. I've uh, spotted something that just caught my eye. I'll pan round and see if you can spot, which is the bit that caught my eye, that stands out from the rest of the surroundings. Hopefully, like me, you spotted this tree here. It's leaning over with the light catching on the side. Um, it's not great there's nothing overly special about it but it just uh just caught my eye so because of that i'm now going to take a couple of shots for, of it and then when i get it back into lightroom and photoshop i can 
have a look at it and see if it appeals. So in the back of the camera, that's the composition I've gone for. Um, shooting at ISO 80, F10, 1 15th of a second. And I've got myself a nice sharp focus on that tree. Um, I may even just close the aperture down a little bit and then that will soften the background. So let's do that and have a look. Okay, yes, uh, much prefer that. Um, what I've done is I've opened the aperture right up 3.8 to give myself a nice shallow depth of field back with everything behind and then that will just make the trees stand out even more. Um, zoomed in, got a nice sharp focus on that tree and um, got the shutter speed up to 1 50th of a second now, still shooting ISO 80 um, and that actually looks looks okay so once I've done a bit of an edit on it uh, hopefully if it's any good I'll put it up, let me have a, let you have a look Quite, uh, quite liking the look of this as well. Um, got these two, these two Douglas, Douglas firs. I think they are in the in the foreground here, uh, which are dark on one side and light on the other side. Um, from the from the way they they weathered, um, there is a little bit of light breaking, but it's it's not it's not really that's not really light breaking. That's just different colours in the in the trunks of the trees. And then what did catch my eye is right in the center there, there is a red cedar, which is uh, contrasting between these two Douglas firs and then the red cedar, the red trunk of the cedar in the background, um, which is picking up on a bit of light. So yeah, so I've just uh, set up for that. Um, let me show you the composition in the camera. Okay, so I've opted for portrait. Um, orientation in the, with the camera um, I will probably end up cropping the top off a little bit and maybe even a little bit off of the bottom in the uh, in the final image but yeah I've got the uh, close the aperture again down because I want more depth of field this time so that I can see some detail in these these foreground trees and the tree behind so I've closed that aperture back down to f11 which will give me a nice bit of depth of field um, but just to cover myself I have done a focus on these trees and also a focus on that fire tree so then I can blend those two together to make sure that I've got a nice sharp image throughout another image in the bag let's stroll on a bit further Ah, uh, what a better way to get away from the, the rush of life and work and different pressures, that, different stresses that we've all got. Um, just, just get out in this woodland area. Just take in the ambience of the birds whistling and the, the trees rustling and just the, just the noises. Or, or no noise, whichever whichever way you would prefer it. But, um, but yeah, don't get better than this. Just want to take time out to show you this. Ah, looking from here, nothing out the ordinary. But this here, this mound of what almost looks like just debris off of trees and but if I go in close 
you can see that the whole thing is moving. That is an ant's nest. That whole, whole mound there is just full of millions and millions and millions of ants. You can see them coming away from it. And I'm not sure if you can pick that up there, but there, that one there is carrying, carrying a branch back or a, a, a small twig back to build the nest even bigger. Here's the, the workers going out to get more bits to build the nest even bigger. There's another one coming back with some stuff on board. So, <laughs> slightly sidetracked from the photography, but uh, just thought that some of you may be interested to see that. Right, so this shot, I've uh, walked a fair way up around now. Um, not actually seen too much today, it's caught my eye, but just saw these two trees here, either side of this gateway with the uh, with the pathway leading leading off up through off into the distance and so it uh, was calling to me to say just take a shot just like the textures and that and everything in these old trees okay um Something I have touched on before, but I haven't mentioned in several videos. So I just thought I'd mention it again. Um, good way of getting to ensuring that your focus is pin sharp is get your focus point, zoom in on the area that you want to focus on, and then using the back button get your focus and then get your shot that way you can ensure that that focus there is absolutely pin sharp so yeah it's uh, worthwhile doing it just to uh, just to for your own peace of mind so that you know because if i was to focus from that distance the uh the camera's focusing on a small area um and yeah it's chance are it's going to be sharp but it just gives you a a better chance and then off up there in the distance up at the back of the scene do a focus up there and there and that's nice and sharp so then i can get that then if I want to blend that in as well, in post, I can. Okay, not the most productive day image-wise, but uh, still, even so, it's been a pleasant, pleasant walk around. Um, I think, I think this actual area here where I am now um, will be absolutely amazing in the autumn um, yeah I think may have to uh, may have to re revisit this in the autumn when these uh, when these leaves are if we can try and catch these leaves just at the right time I think it might be nice so can I just take the opportunity to thank you again for checking out my video and uh, helping to support me to to keep this channel going so um, if you're new to the channel please hit that subscription button and the notification bell to keep up to the latest content and give the video a thumbs up that would be much appreciated and uh, drop me a comment down below it's always as I say every week it's always good to get some feedback so uh, from a pleasant stroll on the Quantock Hills 
got a few nice images but not so much today so till next time take it easy